Hello, Zeb Gillette, cell leader, Tough Sum Technologies. Here to show you the importance of DTED, Digital Terrain Elevation Data, in ATAC. You can see here, this is in Montana. I have DTED, level 2, loaded on the left hand side, and zero DTED loaded on the right. Using the Red X tool, you can highlight where you have your Digital Terrain Elevation Data and where you don't. This is what it looks like. I'm going to show you how to go to usgs.gov, open up the Earth Explorer, and download DTED and upload it on your ATAC device. To load digital terrain elevation data, I'm going to go to the uh, United States Geological Survey website. Um, I'm going to use their Earth Finder tool. Earth Explorer, sorry. So when you first go to usgs.gov, uh, before you can use the Earth Explorer tool, they're going to uh, ask you to create an account. Uh, my screen, I'm already logged in. I have an account. Uh, it's free. They just need a uh, email. To confirm that you're a person and then they'll give you a login password and then you can get access uh, to the Earth Explorer. Now once you're in Earth Explorer uh, I'm going to show you how to navigate to pull up tiles for the area you want. So I'm going to set the conditions for my map first. So just to really show elevation data, I'm going to use uh, Montana. Okay, now that you have the conditions on your map set up, uh, we're going to go down our initial screen here. You pretty much have to fill in and activate these three menus, search criteria, data sets, and then you'll get your results. So entering search criteria, I'll stick with geocoder. Uh, the method will stick with the feature method. Scroll down. Um, and this is kind of the user friendly way to choose the area where you're going to grab your uh, shuttle radar topography mission uh, derived DTED data. So I'll use the polygon method. So to start, just click on the map when polygon method is chose and outline the area you want covered. Sometimes you got to zoom in and out and it'll give you this red box that shows the area where you're going to pull your DTED data from. Shows you the coordinates where you dropped uh, your points. Uh, the rest of the data doesn't really matter. Now you're going to move to your next menu, your data sets. In your data sets, you're going to scroll down and I'm going to show you where to find uh, DTED. So it'll be digital elevation. Underneath there is the sub menu for SRTM. That's the that's the uh, shuttle radar topography mission. And it'll give you your four choices. Uh, if you need more information about each choice, you can uh, click this information menu. And it'll shoot you over to another screen to explain the differences in the data and how they're derived. But I'm going to use the uh, SRTM one arc. After you fill out the type of data you want to pull, you can go to additional criteria, which uh, doesn't really have a whole lot with us, and then hit results. Scroll into my area. So I have seven results, which means there are seven tiles uh, under SRTM data. And the subcategories we'll have here are footprint, 
show browser overlay, compare browser, show metadata and browse, download options, add to bulk download, and exclude the scene from results. So just to see uh, all seven tiles, I'm going to use the footprint button. And you can see it just highlights the area that SRTM data is derived from. If you're concerned about downloading uh, just a smallest amount of tiles as possible, uh, you could readjust your, uh, your image. Uh, if you're going to do a large download, I'd recommend using uh, the bulk download. Say you're doing an entire country or just a large, large geographic area. What it'll do is uh, USGA will uh, compile the data and send you a link to your email. Uh, you will need a Java runtime to uh, interpret the data. Uh, but for smaller tiles, for smaller area, we're just going to use the download right here download options. So before I set that off, I want to ensure that I have a file to save all the uh, imagery. I'm going to use my desktop right here, USGA imagery. And I'm just going to begin downloading. This is where you're going to find your DTED and you'll see the level to which it's pulled at. The download options you can see right here. Uh, to interact with ATAC, we're going to need our digital terrain elevation data. Once you hit download, it'll snap you to a download screen and you'll see it'll pop up on the bottom under downloads, depending on your operating system. And now I'm just going to scroll through every scene and download my DTED. That's all it takes to download digital terrain elevation data. Now, really the clutch and final part is uh, getting that data into your ATAC device. I'm gonna wait for this last one to download. I'll pull up my download menu. Okay, so all, here's all our tiles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna move all these tiles. Into my new folder. I've already labeled it Northern Montana. We've downloaded our DTED from USGS using Earth Explorer as the tool. Now we have to make our DTED files, or change the DTED files so ATAC can recognize them. So I'm going to show you what DTED looks like in ATAC. So you see here, ATAC interprets DTED files through a uh, easting and westing folder. And the name structure moves to the northern and southern. southern. So I want my new DTED files to mirror what or how ATAC interprets those files. So using that as my template, I'm going to create subfolders that denote the uh, the, the Westing. So I've got Westing 114, 115, 116.
Okay, so now the folders mirror how ATAC is going to uh, ingest the DTED data. Now I have to change my naming convention. See here, this is the naming convention ATAC recognizes. This is DTED level zero. This is DTED level two. So I'm going to rename all my files. To just show the northings or the southern southings. All right, here we go. Now all my files are renamed. Now, this is only for that Northern Montana area. So with my new folder selections, I'm gonna drop this data in my DTED subfolder. Going back to my device. After you have ATAC loaded, go to your ATAC folder. Go to your DTED folder. Get rid of these old ones. And now you're going to pull all your new DTED data. Over to DTED inside ATAC. I'm going to show you what that DTED looks like once it is loaded. But this is how you successfully open source, go to usgs.gov, utilizing the Earth Explorer tool navigating your way to SRTM and pulling your DTED data and renaming the files and the folders so that ATAC can interpret it. Now that we have DTED loaded in our ATAC device, you can see the effects that it has on the map. Bring in the Red X tool. You can see outside the tile set, there's no DTED. Whereas inside our tile set, we have DTED level two. To really showcase it, we're gonna use the 3D model. Thank you for watching. This is Zeb Dillette with Tough Stump Technologies.